Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can uh, create your own red IPP2 LUT. This can be used either for color grading or it can be used uh, for a reference LUT that you can import into your camera. I will be using the Blackmagic Pocket 4K as an example in this, but you should be able to do this with the Blackmagic Pocket 6K or Ursus or really whatever camera as long as it can input a LUT uh, and you should be able to get the red IPP2 uh, mapping to work with whatever camera you've got. So let's start here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to the RED uh, website where they have the RED IPP2 LUTs and download all of them. There should be a bunch in there. So it should be all the different kinds that they do have. Okay, once you've downloaded the RED IPP2 LUTs, you should see them uh, in Resolve uh, if you put it in the proper folder, whatever you want to do with your folder structure, whatever it is you want to do, um, you know, just make sure that you can access them. And, uh, you know, you'll have all the different varieties to choose from. And the thing is, when you go through them, you'll notice that they look kind of crappy um, as far as like the contrast and saturation doesn't really look right. And that's because obviously these uh, LUTs are not created for Blackmagic Pocket 4K. In fact, right there, you can see red wide gamut log 3G10 direct 709 BT 1886, blah, 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 blah. So you need to, uh, con you need to actually uh, take the Blackmagic color space and gamma and put it into red wide gamut. Uh, and log 3G10 in order for these LUTs to work right. So uh, let's choose one. I'll choose, uh, let's just use uh, high contrast and very soft. That's one of the two that I usually pick. And uh, we will create two other nodes like this. And this first one we'll call color space transform. Second one we'll call grade. No, grade. And then we'll put that up there. So on the color space transform node, we'll throw in the color space transform. Uh, make sure if you're using raw that you have your color space and gamma set to the right stuff. Uh, should be black magic design and black magic design film. So then what we're going to do is for the input color space, we're going to go uh, choose black magic design pocket 4K. Um, choose whichever uh, proper uh, color space and gamma is for your camera. But for this one, it's shot with the pocket 4K. So we will do that. Okay. And then for output color space and output gamma, we're going to choose red wide gamut RGB and red log 3G10. And once we've done that, you'll see that everything is looking more like it's supposed to when it gets transformed. See? Okay. So that gets us uh, using a LUT workflow into the red IPP2 mapping for Rec. 709. Okay. Uh, and then here in between, this is where you can do your color grades. So for this one, I'll just pump a little contrast. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. And that's basically how you do it. It's uh, very, very simple. Okay. Um, and let's use a different shot and do a little, a uh, little bit different with the grade. Uh, we will reset this grade and in this shot, uh, there we go. That's, you know, that's the transform. So in this one, we can uh, do some different things with the grade. If we wanted to, say, um, uh, adjust the hue of her skin tones, go that way with it, adjust the saturation. Okay. And there's our there's our quick uh, look, and this is using the red IPP2 gamut mapping. Okay, so whatever look you want to do, make sure you finalize all that. Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate a LUT for this. So for this, I will right click the thumbnail, and I'll hit generate 3D LUT, and then we will call this uh, sample. You can call it whatever you want, but uh, this one we'll call uh, sample red IPP2. Um, what do we do? Uh, high contrast, uh, very soft uh, roll off. Okay. Um, and then we'll hit save. Okay. To make sure that it's saved and that we can upload it and make sure, you know, it saved properly. Open the LUT folder. Sample red IPP2, so there it is. Okay. 
and then we will update lists. This is all to just make sure that the LUT saved. Hit save. Then to make sure that uh, the LUT is working appropriately, we'll make this node here. Go into LUTs, uh, day LUT. Throw that in. And bam, we've got our LUT. So it works. So if you know, you're know you creating your uh, LUT that you want to throw into different programs, uh, this is a way to do it. If you're trying to create a LUT that you're going to import into your camera as a reference LUT, this is how you can do it. It's very, very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to help you out. Uh, please li like and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, and I will catch you later.